The question is whether water, H2O, is an organic or an inorganic molecule. So we have a general definition here. It says that organic compounds, they'll contain carbon. So right away, we see H2O. We have two hydrogens and the one oxygen. There's no carbon there. So water is not an organic compound. We consider water an inorganic molecule. With organic compounds, we said it contains carbon. Often it'll have hydrogen atoms too. It'll have carbons bonded to hydrogens. Sometimes it'll have oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus atoms as well. And there are some exceptions like CO2, carbon dioxide, is considered inorganic. So we've classified water as inorganic, but it does share something in common with organic compounds. Let's take a look at the periodic table. So if we find hydrogen here and oxygen, they're both nonmetals. When we have two nonmetals, we have a covalent compound, also called a molecular compound. With organic compounds, we have carbon bonded to things like hydrogen or nitrogens or oxygens and some phosphorus atoms. These are all nonmetals. So water is a molecular compound. In organic compounds, they're going to be molecular too. That means they have covalent bonds and the electrons are shared between the atoms. So even though water is considered an inorganic compound, it does have covalent bonds in it, just like organic compounds do. This is Dr. B answering the question whether water is an organic or inorganic molecule. It's inorganic because it doesn't contain carbon. Thanks for watching.